Let us pray. On this Sunday, near the end of the Christmas season and at the beginning of a new year, we come to you in prayer, O God. We lift our hearts and minds in gratitude for the hope of your prophets, those who through the centuries have shared your passion for justice and shalom in the nations of the world and still had hope faith in your promises of deliverance and comfort. Such hope does not come easily at any time, whether in ancient Israel's exile, first century Palestine, or today. Evidence of humanity's short-sightedness is the stuff of our daily life and the world news. Blindness from the fears and prejudices that are the fruit of racism, sexism, homophobia, classism, and all the other forces that play on our instincts to hate and destroy whatever is not like us. But for all the people who walk in darkness, your prophets see your light, proclaim it for all to hear, and inspire us to join you in your love for all your children everywhere. As your people of hope, we too have evidence that makes the nations prove the glory of your righteousness and wonders of your love. Proof that your light is real and so powerful that darkness cannot overcome it is seen in Christ Jesus, born just over 2,000 years ago, who lived and died dramatizing in word and deed your healing love and whom you raised from death to be present wherever his followers live in his light, whenever two or more gather in his name, whenever hearts and minds are rekindled to hope and trust in you the way he did and does. We know deep down that you are a God of new creation, opening up the possible out of the impossible, making all things new, not just at the beginning of a year, but every morning, every instant of our days. This is the hope Christ gives us now, and we pray that you will confirm that hope within us. Make us more like Jesus, walking in your ways and praising you all our days in the love we feel and express and demonstrate to all we meet, from the least of those around us, neglected or despised by many or most, to the greatest in places of responsibility and 